You see this Minecraft video about three Minecraft mods in a Minecraft game that's called Minecraft. Yeah, honestly, they're about the uh, AHCMBs, Naruto Shinobi Craft Minecraft mod. Third is this one. Basically, three mods that are connected to it. Why am I doing three instead of one? I mean, genuinely, because these three mods are kind of short and straightforward. I don't think there's enough for an entire video on each one, but. I decided to mix them up together, and maybe I'm wrong. You can feel free to tell me if you know more about the mods that I've missed. Regardless, first one I'm confident I have not missed anything about, it's HZMB's Naruto mod reroll. This, this fruit looks very weird. What happens when you eat said fruit? Well, basically just gonna reroll your, reroll your kick again coin. One hour later. The thing I said about the fruit is completely accurate, and here is the plant that it actually... Oh, oh, you can also grow it like a cacti? Basically, that's the point. Whenever it's fully grown, then you... Oh, it also swallows you when you go through it. But yeah, basically from this thing, you get the fruit that allows you to switch your cake again, Kai. And the other thing is that you can get this forged medical degree. This is the thing you need in order to become a medical ninja. And this is the crafting recipe. It's actually pretty more stuff, so very straightforward. So right click. And there we go. But it is something you can do. And yeah, that's why I really could make an entire video just about this thing. But yeah, obviously enough, I couldn't have an entire video just about that. So next one, it doesn't have any mobs, but it does have quite a bit of items. So might as well move on right to it. A lot of different weapons, from umbrellas to grain swords. You know, I have the feeling that these might not be exactly canonical weapons or the dragon blade. They're pretty cool though, so maybe these are from the Naruto filler, probably. Which by the way, I genuinely don't have any issues with that being in the mod. I'm confident that the Galarian Garion is definitely not something that existed. Or the Fire Sword. Does the Fire Sword maybe do fire damage? No, no fire damage. And this one does have a pretty cool texture, the Dragon Blade. Oh, oh, interesting. For whatever reason, the umbrella, whenever I right clicked, it actually gives me speed. Looks rather weird, but it does. Okay, so some of them do give you special powers. Oh, speed for for a couple of seconds. Okay, that's actually good to know. Oh, is that how they give you the powers? They just give you buffs as in... Hmm, okay, remove all of these. Okay, it's none of these. The first Hokage necklace, does that give me any powers? No, it does not look like it. And it looks pretty neat, if I can just get a better look at it. There it is, it's very small, but yeah. Supposedly it's a... <coughs> can allow you to control Biju Chakra better, but I have doubt that's a function that's been installed. Sure, I'll just go through a couple more of the weapons, just to see where they give me any special powers, like the Sword of the Blue Sky, it does 8 damage, something incredible. Once again, these are from... Naruto Expansion? The Naruto Expansion mod. But yeah, here are all the items, most of them are cosmetic, they do have decent armor, basically iron level, but they do are, but they are obviously Naruto themed. Okay, no, here is the sort of the lightning god, it does not seem like this one has any special power as far as I can see, but it does do 10 damage, so not bad. Still nothing incredible, but hey, it's decent enough, decent enough. Very straightforward, lightning release, yeah, interesting, so seriously, only the umbrella gives you special powers? That would be so weird, especially since there is one more weapon that I, I would hope it gives you something. And that is the Sword of Nibuku. So yeah, the sword that allowed you to basically create the world or destroy it. Something of that matter, pretty big deal. This one is definitely canon. And it does 28 damage or so, 27. Wow, it's actually shockingly close, but for some reason one off. This animal is pretty cool, obviously enough, the one in the actual show is uh, <laughs> enormous, so fair enough that it's not that big. But when it comes to powers, unfortunately enough, it appears that, shockingly enough, the sword that allowed you to create all of reality does not give you anything special. Like, I think technically this is made from the, the little black spheres that destroy anything they touch. So if anything, it should have the same effect as the oh, Ash Killing Bone. I believe. Technically, or at least be something similar. Technically, I guess it doing more damage kinda does the same thing, but uh, what's that? What's that? What did it do? I don't know. But yeah, as shockingly enough, this remarkable sword, literally the sword of God, or a god, has less magical power than a simple umbrella. Interesting. Well, that's anime for you. I heard that it's a simple umbrella, probably another fewer special umbrella, maybe? 
I don't know. Third and final mod of the video. A few minutes later. The last one is an add-on, which I guess technically two mods and a single add-on. HZMB's Sword Plus. So, shockingly enough, as you can probably guess, I mean, the most shocking thing is that technically it does not swords. It adds a single sword and a bladed weapon. So which is it? I guess it, I mean, it isn't called a sword, but it is the seven star blade. So one of the stage six buffs weapons. And the other one is the sword of the thunder god, which I think this is just supposed to be a not switcheroo, that's not the right way to put it. I believe a substitute is the best way to express what I'm trying to say. This sword is supposed to substitute Hashirama's ability to use Flying Raijin. That is the basic purpose of this sword. Does it teleport you? No, it doesn't look like it. Very confusing. Well, there is a couple more things in this. Mostly two mobs that are pretty interesting i'll show them but unfortunately enough i think i'm having personal graphical issues with them so i don't want to spend too much time on them but i might as well test them out however before that the other things i want to show are the simple shuriken obviously enough many mods add them it's a shuriken i don't have much to say you can spam them they're not that difficult to craft and the other thing is the infinite shuriken which as you can guess it's an infinite shuriken <laughs> and yeah and when it comes to crafting recipe straightforward for the normal one and this one just requires another star to get an infinite shuriken very very straightforward here is something that's not straightforward it actually adds a potion effect which is called shocked and i am very curious might as well spawn one of these guys. no shocked seems like movement is not an issue what does shocked do though hmm very weird. I have absolutely no idea what's to deal with this. Does it do damage? I would, I guess, I mean, it doesn't do to the mob. Sure, let's first things first. Someone Tobirama. And yeah, uh, he has all the health. And as you can also see, I have a graphical issue. By the way, tell me whether if you install it, you have the same issue. It's possible because I've installed literally everything AHCMBs in this single mod pack. So yeah, basically literally everything. That's what might cause this. Or I might have misread something. I'm not sure. But yeah, that's a Shirama. <laughs> let's see how strong he is. Hopefully that his abilities work fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, he does want to fight. Wait, he does not fight? Yeah, now you're definitely saying why I definitely didn't want to do a video about every single one of these individually. There's just not enough in these mods yet. But if they do get updated, I'll definitely look at them in more detail, if there's much more to see. Or if I've missed something, once again, feel free to tell me. Now, if I use the shocked one on him, it's weird, it doesn't feel like it slows me down, and he doesn't do any damage. And he doesn't do any damage either. And what about Ginkaku? Right, once again, messed up texture, but that's fine. Can you fight them? Or are you also just not complete? I want to say they're not implemented, but it's def there definitely are. It's very possible, I just want to reiterate, that the actual issue is the fact that I've installed too many mods in this single mod pack. Because these mods do spawn naturally, as you can see right over there. I have not spawned two Ginkakus, one just spawned normally. And they're not even that difficult to spawn, so I'm not certain what's the deal there. But there is something else I want to test out before ending this. I'm just gonna enter survival. I still have shocked. It doesn't seem like it does anything whatsoever. Maybe it zooms me in. Is that the issue? Yeah, no, I'm not seeing any noticeable changes. So I have literally no idea what shocked actually does. However, another thing I can try is simply have other mobs fight these two and see whether maybe they'll fight them, like Kabuto. And yeah, the, honestly, the mod with. Oh, okay. Maybe show some someone other than Kabuto because clearly enough a lot of chaotic things are happening right now. Yeah, yeah, probably probably should have went with a different choice. One that is slightly less chaotic. Something a little less destructive, like the explosive ninja that was at the beginning of the video against Hashirama. Come on. Can you fight? No, seems like they just can't fight at all. Once again, I can't say for certain whether this is because of how I've installed things or whether just the mod is unfinished. Really not sure. Something I can say, however, is that there is plenty of other awesome Ainge ZMBs, Naruto, Shinobi stuff, craft mods, and I'm certain these will improve if they continue getting updated. So I'll keep an eye. But for now, hopefully enough, you had fun with the video. There is a video there, so I'll there. And for now, bye.